Okay, hello there guys, welcome back to another libgtx video tutorial. Uh, in the previous video, we managed to make our spaceship shoot some lasers or uh, some kind of bullets and we were able to destroy enemies as you can see. I think now we are at the point where we need to add some text to the game. So, in order to do that, we need to download a tool here and the tool uh, is called uh, it's called hero okay where is it runnable uh, yeah it's hero but the spelling is not hero h-i-e-r-o okay so where do you find it uh, basically you go to libgdx.badlogicgames.com slash tools and you'll find it here you just download it it's about 21 megabytes and uh, that's it and uh, you also need to have a font because not all the fonts are free for commercial use uh, I found one on the internet uh, I don't downloaded it but the, uh, this is the font itself this is the one I'm gonna use for the game uh, now if you check the licensing here um, it says here uh, it's under Creative Commons Attribution International License, meaning that if you are using this uh, font, you have to attribute the maker of, uh, of it, uh, which is Michael Moss. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so now <coughs> let's see how we can, uh, you know, address this issue. So I, I created a test before you guys, but anyway, let me show you what happens. So the first thing you want to do after downloading the hero uh, tool is to run it, of course. Uh, you get it here, All right? So here you could select, for example, uh, whatever you like. In this case, uh, you are selecting uh, what uh, the font and you can see a preview but uh, in our case i want to select the file here i already selected that uh, you know from previous run so it remembers things but anyway this is the font file okay and uh, yeah so this is it uh cliff sample text cliff cache uh, you know whatever sample text reset cache da, 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 da. okay whatever so here we are having this one very straightforward I suppose now all we need to do is to go to file and say um, save BMF file text if I'm not mistaken yeah so I'm gonna say here game font game font for example and just give it a save okay so here we get two files okay we have this and this this one is an image so I am gonna drag and drop it here so you can see that this image contains what uh, these are the drawing of the different letters if that makes sense right yeah so there's gonna be DEFG and so on yeah I, maybe I chose the wrong font because this one doesn't appear very readable i suppose yeah or maybe i did a mistake in there oh no this is it a b what a b r where is the c okay it uh, it should it should know the locations of the letters without a problem so you know we, we could change that later on anyway so we have this file and the second file is this one FNT so I'm gonna open this using notepad and if you open that you'll find that it has some information such as the size and some a few things here the most important is that you'll find that each character where it is located in the file and offsets and stuff like that so the game engine will use <coughs> these information in order to know how to render this text very straightforward now we are gonna copy these two files okay so copy them go to the game and now go to the Android project go to assets 
and we will uh, just right click here and paste and to directory assets of course i want them in the directory assets uh, okay okay and now i will just sync just in just in case i will just sync these no problem so we have what we have uh, game font that's fine now uh, let's go to our game now if I remember correctly I'll have to create a font object okay <clears throat> right so here I'm gonna say libgdx wait a second it should be gdx dot font wait a second sorry forgetting things all the time so here libgdx font texture there you go bmp fonts there should be an example here quickly yeah it should be bmp font if i'm not mistaken right yeah free type bmp font yeah I suppose this is it pmp font right let's go and see another example um, pmp font api i suppose this is it so what do we have blah 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 bmp font pmp font data pmp okay maybe this is the uh, thing we need so pmp font Okay, I'm gonna say game font semicolon. Okay, this represent represents the game's font. There you go. So why it's objecting to this one? It's not being recognized here, right? Uh, let me see. I'm gonna say. <coughs> Ports. <coughs> I'm sorry. Bad logic. Dot gdx. Dot graphics. BMP. Oh, or maybe it should be here. BMP font. Let me see. Where is that? Wait a second going back to the internet I'm very sorry about that but anyway the graphics.g2d there you go graphics.g2d okay so import this guy semicolon oh, it's not being organized okay uh, BMP uh, bitmap font there you go we found it so bitmap font bitmap font game font there you go so where is the constructor of the game so we have this guy here so the very first thing I'm gonna create here I will say game font game font equals a new bitmap font and I need to load things right if i'm not mistaken so here i need to provide the file handle so what's the example here um i suppose i could give it the path which is game font game font dot png right and it's it's not being recognized so i need to provide uh, external okay wow i'm forgetting so many things in here go back here file handle file handle font file yeah so i need a file handle okay 
Let's go back here. Okay. <clears throat> no, where is that? There was an example here in a second. Um, yeah, it's this one. Just wanted to see the tool of files. I forget things all the time. I'm very sorry, not very professional of me. So here, the bitmap font we want in this case, this is gonna be game font, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is a game font, and <clears throat> and this need to be what? Dot .fnt or png. I wonder which one should be used here. Because this one is saying, uh, it is using yeah ttf uh, we don't want this one we don't want the generator so it's not using that anyway i suppose this need to be png yeah not sure but let's give that a try and see if it works game png if it doesn't work let's try the other file okay so it failed Air loading, uh, index out of range, index out of range. So instead of using this one, <clears throat> I'm gonna use FNT. Okay. Okay. So let's run this again. Okay. So I suppose this worked. Now let's see if now. Uh, we could use the game font okay so i'll copy this and here <clears throat> uh, here i will just add a few things here draw some test uh, some text okay so game font dot draw uh, I pass the batch here and then the string hello followed by <clears throat> at location um, 120 120 for some reason okay and semicolon let's see if, if this one works okay so you can see now the word hello appears so we managed to create the font and also we uh, we now could uh, draw things or draw the text on the screen okay very straightforward very nice now <clears throat> since we could write some text on the screen we could as well um, write the number of lives that we have uh, right so let's go back here so draw status information okay so here with okay i think the number of flies was stored in what um which variable we have the stage for the wave number we have what also oh there is a sort in the player right so first i will just say here wave okay plus stage dot two st uh oh, wait a second integer two string i pass the stage number okay i want this to be at location zero and y will be virtual height minus 20. okay so here we should see the stage number first uh, or the wave number <clears throat> so let's have a look okay so this is the first wave coming Okay, so we managed to skip the first wave. Now we have wave two, as you can see. 
Okay, very nice. And this is the third wave. How awesome is that? Very simple, very straightforward. And we are getting a game here, right? And we finished the third wave. That's it. There is nothing more. See? Now, in addition to that, we will display the lives. Okay? So. <clears throat> We will say ships, okay, and here we will do what? We will say player dot lives, right? Or what? Yeah, lives. Okay, so we will pass this one, but the location of X will be, hmm, if we say that a character is about 20 pixels and we have wave W, A, V, E, colon, these are about five um uh, six seven eight uh, say 10 multiply by 20 so 200 let's say this is the x-axis yeah so let's see so <clears throat> we're on the game we have three ships and wait a second here good 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 okay so in addition to that I will add something called shield because we we only get hit three times and the shield get destroyed right so we lose a life so now we have shield s h i e l d shield and we will put this at location 400 so instead of lives what do what property do we have we have hit hp hit points which represent our shield so the more hits you get the weaker the shield became and yeah so we can withstand three hits so far so i'll try to get killed or destroyed so now we could handle two hits so far and we could withstand one hit and if we get hit now we should get a you know we should lose alive so yeah the shield is zero so we need to lose a life and yeah so now the next thing to do <coughs> sorry uh, let's see if i could add other parameters here so okay yeah so there is what we have a target width um doesn't say what this one does but anyway let's say i will use 10 here followed by another 10 and drop false let me just try this let's see if this one reduce the font size which is what i want now I don't want to be too large I want it to be a little bit smaller no it didn't do anything it seems <clears throat> right so maybe you know what make it five five i wonder oh sorry 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 i see i think i, I got it so what's happening here these three parameters uh, i think represent uh, the box that you want the text to appear inside right so let's see if there's something else to control the size of the font so let me see game font dot is there a size uh, is there a scale we have a draw target width yeah the width and the height here yeah, of, of the display of the display let's start ta -ta 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 -ta. Cache, data, descent, region, scale x. Okay, so we could say this set scale x, I suppose, right? Okay, and font get data get scale x. Yeah, so we get we have these two guys get scale x and y, but let me see if there is a set scale. We have set color yeah mm, not what i had in mind but anyway 
Okay, since I don't have these, I'll leave it as it is for now. And now instead of minus 20, I'll make it minus 10. Okay, so that it, it sticks to the very top, I suppose. Let us just, you know, make sure that this works well. Okay, so now, oh, you know what? Just don't leave any space. Make them stick to the edge. Doesn't matter. Come on, my friend. Yeah. This is awesome. This is great. So we have these guys now. That's wonderful. Uh, next thing we want to do. So we have these. Maybe we could add, you know, some coloring feature to the font itself. So let's see where is that since i pasted that in the assets folder so i will go to the folder itself let me see where is the properties of that let's stop this um where is it where is it directory path is what i want show and explore android okay there you go so let's go to android let's go to assets and this is the game font okay so let me go to gimp and gimp please work faster okay it worked faster for the first time anyway so what am i gonna do with something you might like it's a very simple trick so i'll select all i selected all of this and now um uh, let me use this one this magical select but I want to select the text, not the empty space. So I suppose there should be edit invert selection. There should be, I remember seeing something like that. Where is it, where is it, where is it, invert. There should be something like that. Select invert selection. Okay, so now we, we have just selected these. What am I gonna do next? Let's <clears throat> choose two colors. So I, I like blue, so there will be uh, this one, this is the first color, okay, and there will be, yeah, this is not blue, right, this, uh, I don't know what, what should I call this, but certainly it's not blue, but anyway, um, maybe this, okay, and I will use this coloring tool. So let me see if I put this one here now. Yeah, you can see that some of the letters get, you know, got some bad, uh, right? Mm. That is not the, the optimal way to do it, right? Mm. Well, my basic idea, just in case you, you don't understand what uh, am I trying to do here uh, I'm trying to give each letter a specific color okay uh, something like a gradient okay so that we could have some cool effects um, yeah so let me try something else to start let's say boss there so I'm gonna boss them all and then I'm going to say color, colorize. Okay, so let's use uh, red. Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, maybe this, this, yeah. Saturation, very high saturation, lightness. Put some light into them. So now they are kind of 3D. Kind of 3D, yeah. And finally, file overwrite. So we overwrote this. Now we refresh or sync. So let's sync this one. And now we run the game again. Let's see what we got. Okay, so now you can see now the font is not bland as before. It looks, so you know, something like metal and uh, like 3D. Yeah, which is way much better than, you know, just white text there. Um, so you could create some uh, cool effects using uh, GIMP. 
since this is a bitmap so you could you know do anything right so this is the main thing now <clears throat> let me see how long we have went through so yeah i think 25 minutes that will be all for today uh probably in the next video we are gonna address uh you know having a title screen uh for the game and then uh you know uh starting the game itself so there will be a title where you should set some options uh you know if you credits and things like that um yeah so uh that would be all for today uh i hope uh, you like this video and sorry if I got a little bit confused in the video because uh, I forget things all the time but uh, anyway we managed to uh, add text to the game at the very end so I suppose no harm has been done there okay thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye